And our movie in zone two this morning. You know it, but don't insult me. I would say it was high zone two, low zone three. Average wattage, 172, 100 minute ride. Why no letterbox review? Because uh, Steven Spielberg made West Side Story 2021, uh, two hours and 26 minutes long. So I have another 46 minutes or so of, of West Side Story still to go. Where are we trending? Right now, I'd say we're trending somewhere between a three and a half and a four, leaning towards three and a half, definitely getting a heart as well. Um, I would also say that the small stuff, the Ansel Elgort, Rachel Zegler uh, love story stuff, the duets are hit and miss. The large scale ensemble numbers are all transcendental. They're, they're beautifully done, wonderfully choreographed, wonderfully shot. The music goes crazy. It's the, it's the small stuff where the movie loses me a little bit, but the big stuff is all fantastic. Okay, we're back on the Mythic Pack. I've named the stream today um, Hemomancer Nerf Waiting Room. I'm going to... I don't have any proof of this. I have none proof. However, I will tell you my personal opinion... It'll be a leaking reactor is that the Vampire Squid is the easiest creature to win with in the Mythic pack so far, uh, and it is going to be nerfed at some point. That's my expectation. I think it's too good to fail. Hey, Stepanitis, thanks for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. You know what? Yeah, yeah you're right. Let me, uh, let me move this. It's not a Vampire Squid, it's a Vampire Bat. If you believe that, I got a bridge to sell you. That's all I'm going to say about that, okay? Give me something like this. I'm, I'm making myself potentially... Oh, I do like a Varg, though. I do like a Varg. I'm making myself potentially um, weak to getting shot by one of those axe hound things. But, oh, there it goes. Axe handle hound. A Hemomansa. Hi, Tomo. How you doing, buddy? This is a loss, but that's okay, because we're on full HP. You have no idea who Varg is? I, is he the Norwegian uh, metal guy that killed and ate someone? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, I know who he is. He didn't eat them? Okay, that's like kind of ancillary to what I was talking about, though. And he's a white supremacist. Listen, okay, he also murdered somebody, okay? I'm not, I, I missed one heinous part of his personality, but people are like, yeah, but on top of the murder, he's also a racist. And I'm like, okay, like, they're both really, really, really bad, all right? <laughs> It sounds like you're saying, like, the big deal is not the murder. The big deal is, like, uh, you know, his horrible opinions. He shit posts on Reddit? No, oh, that's the true crime. Just don't let our teachers hear me say that, okay? I need you to protect me. Start a battle. Give the nearest friend ahead plus one mana for each roll this turn. I like it. I like it a lot, actually, and I think we, we, it doesn't really matter if you get a lot of mana, just that you get mana. You get. I'm, I'm looking for a fur-faced trout so that I can receive um, a Rambutan on my Alchemedes, and then the dude is going to go to the moon. Do you have a feud with r slash teachers? No, it is um, uh, drama bait Andy's trying to put two bad bitches against each other. I got no problem with r slash teachers. Mostly because I didn't even know that it existed when I posited that it existed. I definitely did not know that it is the fifth most popular subreddit in the careers subgenre, according to reddit.com. I didn't call them morons. I said it's weird energy for grown adults to go online and rag on like eight-year-old kids. That's what I said. 
Now, if you're ragging on like 13-year-old kids, I can totally understand that. Chibli said they should pay le be paid less. Not me. You've got me confused on that one. Or you've got me confused with somebody else, at least. Hi, Tomo. You realize that by asking me these questions, by the way, you're basically uh, the same as the people who dedicate their lives on social media to like following the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. It's okay to like be that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I just simply don't want you to feel superior to anybody else as a result of, of that. Yeah, so what? I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it out there. I just don't want you to have that sense of superiority. We got a great mana build here. If you're wondering how the build works, it's quite simple. You, the fur-bearing trout dies and gives a rambutan to the warg. Every time the warg attacks then, it gets one mana, which means that it deals one damage to two random enemies. It also gets a whole bunch of mana at the start from Alchemides, which gives another trigger. And then the mana hound gives a bunch of mana to Alchemides based on our rolls. We got a very mana-driven setup here, okay? I think I would roll once more. Oh, I don't mind it at all. <clears throat> I don't mind it in the slightest. What does mana do? It does what it says on the card. Me when the function got draws, okay. And yo, A. Aaron, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. Which is? Well, you, you get the pack in for yourself, by the way. It's already out. We're, we're having a little bit of drama on Twitter. Somebody tweeted me a Dean Norris meme, and it was me when the sap pack comes out. Me when I find out the sap pack is $10. And then someone replied, um... Maybe you'd have more disposable income if you didn't spend $8 a month on Twitter. And that dude did not like receiving that message for sure. He replied and then replied to himself. I, I believe that they replied, MFs will really pay 2x a Twitter blue subscription for Netflix just to watch one movie a month and forget about it. But I'm not allowed to spend $8 a month on a platform that I use every day just to expand my reach. And then someone replied to that and said, bold new argument strategy, make up a Netflix guy to get mad at. And I have to feel like that, he's not gonna like that message when he reads that either. I'm just, I'm, I'm off on the sidelines, okay? I just made, the, I, I made a tweet that says it's update day and all of a sudden I'm like, uh, my, my mentions are a battlefield here. I don't have to take a side. Now in my head, have I taken a side? Of course. But I, don't, I publicly don't have to take a side. That's an unforced error. All I would say is that without getting too serious about it, I don't think that you should have to pay $8 to expand your reach on a social media platform. I think that it should be a meritocracy. I think that the swaggiest dudes and the hottest chicks should naturally rise to the top just because that's the way that uh, the world works. So that's the way the internet should work as well. I don't think it should be determined based on, you know, who gives eight extra dollars a month to Elon Musk. You know, we're all crushed under the same boot. Just got back from Costco. What did I miss? Can I tell you something? This question comes up all the time. You have never missed anything. I've been telling you it for years. I'm not trying to uh, be derogatory towards you or my own career, but every stream is the same. This is not Breaking Bad. You know, this is not Infinity War. I went to the bathroom. Did I miss Gulp Shido coming up? This is the radio. You don't get in your car, turn on the radio, and then call your friend and go, hey, I was 10 minutes late to the radio this morning. What did I miss? They played the same songs. They played the hits. They played some advertisements for local car dealerships. 
There was some paid promotion, and you know, we 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 all had a reasonably good time. Vampire bat. Okay, this is where we we pivot the whole run. You say that, but you miss one stream, and now everyone's saying Hemomancer. I suppose there is some truth to that. You, when you miss a day of school and then all your friends have a new inside joke by the time you come back, you're like, what the hell? <laughs> Everyone's saying, hurt me more, and then you say, hurt me more, and people are like, don't say that. You don't know what that is. And I'm like, you guys were all saying it. They're like, yeah, we were there when, the, when they said, hurt me more. We all have that shared experience. You're trying to get stolen valor by saying, hurt me more. Fur-bearing trout has reached maximum level. Give the frontmost friend plus one mana. But we are, we're going vampire squid here, so just give me a second. On faint, make all pets within one space exposed. You should leave the squad. You should actually leave the squad. You should leave the squad. We'll run Vampire Weekend here. I don't think Vampire Weekend is going to be great for us immediately, but in any given moment, it could start popping. And the Mana Hound will be soon to go afterwards. Look, it already popped, man. I guess I forgot. I already have two ailments from the freaking Bargast. This is still poppable. Confirmed non-poppable. This one will be a loss. The Bingus Bongus synergy. He's got complete board control. He put out a Clementine. Oh, we countered with the triangular piece of paper. It is true. Vampire Weekend do be like, is your bed made? Is your sweater on? Do you wanna... Like, you know why... Uh, do you know what I'm talking about? And he had a point when he said that, because it do feel so unnatural, Peter Gabriel too. Nobody knows what you're talking about? Oh really? You're not familiar with the Vampire Weekend self-title? It's a pretty popular album. You might wanna You might wanna step up to the streets on that one. It's eponymous? Exactly. It insists upon itself. Hi, Tomo. Hi, buddy. Hang on. We got to go bad dog here. This bad dog, Pandora's box, is going to go dicko mode. Double chocolate. And then anything that creates, anything good that creates ailments on uh, enemies. And then these vampire squids are going to the moon. Get ready for this. Here it comes. Holy cow. I've got a sort of Rambutan energy that I bring to the function when there's vampire squids around. I kind of wish I didn't give you a chili, though. I do sort of feel sometimes that... Because uh, people in the, in the comments right now... I should have saved one vampire bat. What are you doing here, brother? But people in the comments right now are saying, I don't know what the hell's going on in this game anymore. It does feel like the first day of school. Let's make some foes crispy. Like it's the first day of school and you, you signed up for a class in college that sounds like fun. You didn't have the prerequisites, but you're like, whatever, I'm pretty smart, I'll figure it out. And then you show up on day one, and you're like, oh no. Like, these dudes are all talking about, like, eigenvectors and stuff like that, and I just finished Calc 1. Like, I don't know what that is. They're like, here's a little pop quiz, just to make sure, just to get your brain loosened up, we're going to multiply this matrix by this matrix. And I'm like, oh, brother. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? But you'll figure it out, just like I figured it out well enough to at least get the course credit. It just takes a little bit of time, okay? You just gotta give it, your brain is very good at digesting. It just takes a minute for it to get to that point. We don't have bad dog anymore. Rambutan is going off. I don't think we need to compito anybody. 
Uh, it's rare for me to say that. I would love to see bad dog. No, no bad dog. No bad dog. No bad dog. No bad dog. Hi, Tomo. Hi, buddy. Hello. We can take a phoenix here. And then you play phoenix here and vampire squid right there. If it gets crispy, so be it. It makes the other enemies crispy as well. And then you go crazy mode off of it. Hey, Dill Will Hill. Thanks for the gifted subscription. It's a marketing expense, I'm sure, for your uh, upcoming 12-hour Peloton ride for charity. Best of luck to you and congratulations. Hang on, we're cooked. Confirmed cooked. Hi, buddy. I like you. I, it's very good for our vampire bet. This is very good because we want you to begin with. I still do want another bad dog if possible. When's the Peloton subathon? Um, it's always uh, six months after the last time somebody asks. I.e. it's never going to happen. <laughs> Perhaps never? No, no. As I've said myriad times. Guaranteed never. But you keep asking, uh, and as long as you keep asking, I'm going to keep giving you the same answer. We might actually be in trouble. These chimeras are kind of eating me alive. What do you think about, we don't need a Rambutan anymore. We make enemy ailments two times worse. But it's, it sucks because, like, you're making them crispy, which would be awesome. But then, or sorry, you're making them crispy. But you're then making them weak after the crispiness. Why is the phoenix in the back? The phoenix is a, is a my expectation of it is that it's a four or five stack Andy. You put it here or here, maybe, because it makes pets crisp. Oh, no, eh, maybe you're right. In front of bad, at least, is, is sensible. But you want it to ideally weaken the enemies more than it weakens you. Which is why we're setting it up thusly. But I want, I want you to get stronger so that... No, I want you to go first. This is right. So you should make the enemies weak and then make them crispy so they take double damage from the crispiness. And then maybe you can... Yeah, yeah, there's something to this. Rambutan is useless. Don't sweat it. It hasn't been on the squad for a full turn now. All right, well, that's devastating, except all of my units lived. <laughs> that's got a sting. <laughs> oh, man. Oops! Doesn't Crisp overwrite weakness? For right now, that's the idea. I'd rather them be crisp than weak. The last three enemies crispy. Okay. All according to Keikaku. Don't kill my vampire bat before it starts to pop, please. Now weakness overwrote, overwrote crispiness. That's not what I want to see. Everybody crispy? Manticore needs to be further toward the back. Yeah, okay. Because Manticore needs to... Well, it can't get further towards the back. It just needs to live. <laughs> you actually don't need any more health. You're getting more than enough health. Manticore needs to survive. Cornucopia always goes crazy. Steak? Steak on a vampire? Stephen Malkmus said it best. Even though now, now I realize the steak is like it has a 99% chance to get overridden, we might be in trouble. <clears throat> Actually, it has like a 100% chance to get overridden. We, we fizzled their chimera. That's very positive for business. 
but then we blew up their whole squad. But then I'm crispy, but they're crispy, but I'm crispy, but they're crispy, but we're crispy. Okay, we got to nine. Could it be possible for the Manticore to live? I feel like maybe... But the, if the Manticore gets crispy, it's probably gonna die. Let's move it back one, okay? You make, you make six pets crispy? Ah, it's tough, brother. That's a tough one. I gotta think about that. Okay, everybody get weak with everything. We've got double damage status effects. They've got double damage status effects. They've nullified my Phoenix. That's terrible news for me. Enemy ailments are doubled. Oh, but they're crispy again! We won. I told you, you've got to nerf the vampire squid, bro. It's too good. We're getting badged out of our gourd. I am the angry vampire squid. Relax, I'll handle this. Easiest 10 piece of my life. We go again. It's a simple guy, most confused guy in history voice. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Sure, we're on a sneaky egg. Maybe an uninspired submarine. Embarrassing. Couldn't be me. I got a 10 piece on my first run with this pack. I had literally no idea what I was doing. It do be like that sometimes. It do be like that. Uh, and you know what? We love that, folks. We love that. Gamers these days are not good at being bad. I understand it. You know, there's the, the persistent impulse to always be uh, conquering. We have to respect the fact that there's so much information. It's, it's like a snake eating a mongoose. It's going to take us a few days to digest this, okay? You don't have that problem? Unironically, you are correct. When you've accepted uh, the black pill of mediocrity... The only thing that's frustrating is people who are just as good as you, but still burdened by ambition, saying, why aren't you matter? That's the biggest annoyance I have when I play games like this. Other motherfuckers in silver will be like, you shouldn't have done that. And I'm like, you ever hear of the Dunning-Kruger effect? My brother in Christ? Give one friend the love potion perk. I'm going to do it just because I, I ain't got anything else to do. I'm competition pilled and skills maxing. Then you should be working for DL Guiga, man. You shouldn't be shit posting in Twitch chat. We're all in the, in the loam heap here. Hang on. We take drop bear. This is, this is specking to be a jump build. Imagine if you got oh, tier, tier two, tier two Andrew. Imagine if you got turned into a drop bear. Gargoyle, spend mana to give nearest friend ahead, nearest friend behind plus one health per mana. Okay, a waste, a waste of our time. I don't, I don't have any interest in you, I'm sorry to say. So what do you need to know about this build? Every time any of our units jumps, our jackalope here is going to do two damage to a random enemy. And that's exactly enough to get us a draw. Roll me. You are another jumper. I'm glad you didn't step back from that ledge, my friend. Well, that doesn't make any sense now that I think about it, but what it, here's what I'm, I'm struggling with, okay? Never mind, this is great. There's a, a temptation to use the water of youth to turn you into possibly a Tsuchinoku, but if you don't become that, then it's like a complete fizzle that was a waste of time. But if you do do it, then it would be sick, bro.
What a shot. What a shot. What are you talking about? Like if I this converts him into another tier one unit. If he turns into a Suchinoko, then we can combine them and get a level three Suchinoku. It only costs one gold. It definitely has a gold circle with three in the in the number. So the thing is, this is just fun. Maybe it'll work. Yes! <laughs> get it twisted. Your money is safe. You will win the jackpot. Holy. I'm going all in. Is this like a fantastic creatures pack or something? I don't know what you're talking about. I see these guys in my backyard every day. This is the best team I've ever squeen. Uh, I've ever squeen. It's the best team I've ever squeen. Um, and then, you know, it ruined what I was going to talk about, but that's okay because it was funnier. Uh, I was going to say, no, it's not. It just has a vampire bed. Jump to the front when empty in battle once. That's, that's got a certain jump synergy that it brings to the function. I would say I, I like that. We have no use for it just yet, but if you just give it a second... Hang on. Tatzelverm seems to work fantastic with this. Okay, thank you so much. And now we can take one good unit and turn it into a jumper. At some point, we might want to get some stats on... You vampire squid motherfucker! <laughs> you think you're clever? I was running that shit! Okay, fuck it. We're selling everything and running vampire bat because it's, it's too good. It's too good. They've made it too strong. Are you good friends summoned? Start a battle, make the last enemy crispy? I think we try it. I think we say you're gone. But you're already going to start at the front. So what am I doing with you? It's a good point. It's a very good point. It doesn't make any sense. What I'm suggesting here doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know what? Take a little support. I think we're screwed. Vampire Bat very quickly becoming like my most hated unit uh, in this game. Except when I have it, in which case uh, it's based. There we go. Now what the hell are we doing? Nothing. We're doing nothing? Never really used an abomination. Not really interested in removing health for attack right now, I think. Werewolf can be a nice pickup, but we're, we're basically rolling for nothing right now. How about, hear me out here, unicorn to counter vampire bats. So if they shoot a vampire bat at me, then our unicorn goes, psych, thanks for the permanent buff. It only works once per turn. So it, like it's not quite there yet. <laughs> it's like it worked, but it wasn't even close to being good enough to, to counter the vampire bat, but Friend jumped, buff it permanently. It's just too slow. I'm sorry. Like, I'm I'm not gonna run the vampire back because we're already like uh, we're a little further along. But we'll keep this rolling for now. So vampire bat counters vampire bat. That's the way it's worked for me thus far. The best, it's like the same thing, like, how do you beat your opponent if your opponent has, like, a 49-49? A well, let's hope your ass developed, like, a 50-50. Yes? Yes? Okay. Hydra, Quetzalcoatl, Behemoth, Sleepnir. 
Me when I'm talking in reverse. Let's let's see. Maybe we got like. How, how is it possible we leveled up three times and the only match we've got is Behemoth, bro? Like that's insane. Also, I'm gonna tell you the Yeti, in my personal opinion, is fool's gold. Okay. I take it every single time. I've taken it on reroll runs. I've taken it on experience-driven runs. It's, it is always bad, except maybe with Loch Ness Monster. But it, it, every time, I'm like, yeah, it would totally fit on this run. It would totally fit. And then I sell like my best unit, take a Yeti, and never win another round. And I'm like, oh, brother. Just hold, please. We got weakness, we got crispy. The drop bear is getting fat as frick though, bro. Beautiful shot. How about another tatsel worm shot? You killed my jackalope, you piece of crap! Okay, we're sunk. This unicorn sucks. You don't understand, okay? You just don't get it. But you're right. No! <laughs> no! I don't believe it. And it got nothing because it always gets nothing, man. Hang on. This is so holdable. As long as you don't... Oh, no. The come air is going to ruin my life. Yes. Okay. Fair enough. That's fine. All right, we got one more quick one. Then we're going to play Islands of Insight for a sponsored segment. A shared world upcoming puzzler with a demo coming out in the Steam Next Fest. Afterwards, we'll be playing more sap. Hmm, some irony with this one. It'll be a snooty stinker. Mana early is like strawberry early used to be. Like mana early is crazy. Run this. You know what? I, I like the idea of both a lucky cat and an Ogopogo, but let's go lucky cat first. Beautiful. I love to see it. And I think I'm going to call it right now. Bar guest, my personnel opinion. Best tier one unit. It's like a tier one bat but it always hits the same unit, which is negative, but also positive. All right, four life. It is what it is. And then we wish to level our lucky cat, please. I think skeleton dog can be kind of good. Ogopogo will help us level our lucky cat. Then we're going crazy. She's also the best girl in FGO. Okay, here we go. FGO. It's it's something game online, if I had to guess. Nope, it's Fate Grand Order. You're gonna make me ask, aren't you? What is Fate Grand Order? Doesn't Kate play it? She brings more of a Honkai Star Rail vibe to the function. Imagine if you became something less useless. That's not really that much better, honestly. Is she pogged for 2.0? I didn't, I, I don't even know what it means, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not privy to the updates in Honkai Star Rail. It's that gotcha with the historical figures as anime girls. Oh, you know what? I think, I think she does play that as well, actually. She was talking about it for a while. Sometimes I'll look over at her uh, her phone and she'll be like in outer space 
twirling a wand around and doing 9,999 damage to somebody. Sometimes I look over and she'll be like, everybody's wearing like steampunk hats and they're in like a old west town or something like that. Please, please give me, please give me a lucky cat. A lucky cat would go insane right now. You are the greatest. Thank you so much. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing you've just done for me. So now the lucky cat's gonna level and give us a sick bonus every single turn. The bone dog's gonna level and then we're gonna get even more permanent buffs every turn as a result. And then the mana hound is just sort of like along for the ride, but... And then this can sustain us until we inevitably get a vampire squid. Now I can run you back at the front. And we want to get a gingerbread for the bone dog. Oh my God, you're too good to me. <laughs> you really are. Let's try an abomination just, just cause. Bro is going to become uh, an Alchemedes, which I think is the worst possible role we could ask for. But this is the first time I've ever taken one. So like, let's see what it can do. Oh, it maintains his stats at least. At least there's something there. You see this lucky cat popping off, bro? Is, 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 this is gonna give us like three extra gold per turn, isn't it? Eventually the stats are gonna fall off, but... We do appear to have 13 gold. Okay, this is a big one. <laughs> Rip to the bone dog. I really like what the Ogopogos bring into the table. We'll probably get rid of the Abomination soon after because we need space for things that create uh, weakness. But actually, it seems like kind of the Cyclops might just go crazy too. Not weakness, sorry, ailments. I would love to level you up. Leveling you would give us some space. I snooze. I am continuing to snooze you. I'm upset. I maintain being upset. I will roll for eternity. Stop giving me the Kraken, okay? It's not gonna happen. You just skipped Frost Doggy? Yeah, I just don't, I, I can't vibe with the stats, honestly. I'm really looking, I mean, if I could just make their whole squad crispy, I would be loving every minute of it, Jerry. That's really what I'm looking for. It isn't great, but it's better than zero. You're, you're comparing uh, fruits to vegetables, my friend. You're comparing fruits to vegetables. Imagine, we all know that our roles didn't work out, but what this book presupposes is, what if they did? This is what we need to see. Holy cow. And then bad doggy. Next round. Next round works. Fruits and vegetables should be compared because fruits just trounce them in every category. Listen, you might think that I'm going to take that comment and use it as an opportunity for derision. You would be wrong. Like, if fruits and vegetables were in a battle against one another, the fruits are clear and it's just the way it is. I love vegetables, but the, I mean, they're no fruits, let's put it that way. Some of this, some of this. Grapefruits alone beat all vegetables. POV, you're the most popular guy at the nursing home. Can I get something that creates more ailments on our foes, please? Like this is a, it's a slap in the face, bro. I will say werewolf will go crazy for like one turn. What have we done? <laughs> Wait a minute, this lad's got a damn steak on him, bro! That's no good!
Just some weakness, please. We, we should even be going a little faster, honestly. How about things that create ailments in our foes? That's also great. Thank you so much. How about some crispy, some crispy creators? Start a battle, make the last enemy crisp. Absolutely. We'll take you up on that. Lucky Cat, we'll take you up on that. Uh, excuse me, my vampire bat got silenced. In case you're wondering why normally it's good and this time it isn't good. Well, it's still one, but it got silenced. Avery Goods, I want you to know that you got me, okay? You said muted. I looked at my microphone. You got me? If you do it one more time... Perma permaban. But a permaban is not really a permaban, okay? Because you can go into the unban requests and request clemency. This is big. Yay! He said he meant the vampire? I said what I said. <laughs> You got one, you got one get out of jail free card, okay? Be careful. This dude is gonna be rambutaned out of his freaking gourd, bro. This dude's also gonna be rambutaned out of his freaking gourd. We were still pretty close. Enemy ailments are two times worse. Now, this is something we love to see. Do we care about the Ogo Pogo anymore? I don't think we care. It's a great unit. I don't think we care about it. I think instead we care about making enemy ailments a thousand times worse. And I should have bought the Peach of Immortality. I said what I said. I said I should have bought the Peach of Immortality. You're doing, you're, you're already max level. Let's send you up a tier. Oh, jump to the front space, gain plus six attack and a melanin battle. Well, well, well. Oh, and then a double cornucopia. I am the peach of immortality. Relax, I'll handle it. I feel like just based on how I expected this to go, all, the entire enemy team should be dead. Okay, well, sometimes it just takes an extra minute or something. We need another bad dog. Please take some more health. Valencia's? Those are a juice orange. You know what I'm saying? The Simpsons, anybody? Bad dog! <laughs> yes, and you're a crispy user! Uh, you know what? We could probably just fast forward through this one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we already were. <laughs> I don't know, one of those units is double muted. It's the strongest squad I've ever seen in, the, in this uh, new pack, I think. You're here. You're gone. You're here to go super crispy mode. You're here. This is huge. And another bad dog for the future. Hey, Anel, thoughts on your Peloton turning into a coat rack when they go bankrupt? Hey, Chatter, thoughts on uh, LARPing as like a Wall Street big shot in Twitch chat? Weirdo. <laughs> it's your life, brother. I'm just, I'm just asking questions. I'm not, a Wall, I'm not a Wall Street guy. I read it on a Wall Street subreddit. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Don't, I know, okay? 
Let me try something like this. Is that DL Guiga? DL Guiga doesn't LARP. He doesn't work on Wall Street either. He works on whatever Chicago's Wall Street is. Probably like Door Street or something like that. Crispy them? Crispy them? My god, we are dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know how it is. I used to defend my favorite wrestlers the same way. I would rather you be defending professional wrestlers than like attacking a public corporation that the only thing you know about it is that they make an exercise bike that I ride. I mean, you just, at that point, you got to cultivate a hobby other than hating. A little bit of hating sprinkled into like a chili of life gives us some spice, man. But, you know, you're just, you're, 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 you think that you're like Cholula, but you've actually turned yourself into the bomb. A hot sauce that you only want to see other people eat. You never want to actually try it yourself. You've, you've turned yourself into one of those like anus pucker hot sauces that like someone buys you for Christmas because that's like your only element of the personality you've ever expressed to them. And then you like put it in the cabinet, but you never actually open it. But whenever anyone comes over, you're like, check out my hot sauces. And they're like, whoa. And then at work the next day, they're like, I knew he was in the hot sauce, but like the brother is really in the hot sauce. I'm just saying you got to sprinkle a little hate, okay?